Hi and welcome back to another video. I currently find myself at the Asebu Pan African village. I came by to um, oversee the works being done on the building we are having done here, as well as also to make arrangements for materials for the next phase. Anyway, this video is not so much of a pleasant one. Um, so as we all know, the Asebu Pan African village is an up and coming community. So. Uh, things are not already established. An example is roads, uh, maybe hospitals, whatever it is. But uh, my main focus is going to be on roads. So what happens is that when people are looking or trying to locate their located lands, they create like a narrow road that eventually once they reach wherever their land is, then you know, they stop over this. Whoever comes after also does the same and then it you know, ends up creating like a narrow road where we've all been using for some time now. So uh, in doing so what happens is that some of the roads are you know created on people's land like it's like a temporary road which is created on people's land so when it's time for you to um, have your building project or something done on your land what you ideally do when you are clearing your land is redirect the road or create like a, a different place where you know traffic is still able to move through from that section and that was what really even happened at our section over here. So when we came, uh, road was created through the land that we are supposed to have something built on. So during the day that we were clearing the land, we made a wheel loader, which was the one clearing the land to, you know, recreate like a road at a different section, which is just by the side of the land so that we don't block traffic. So when you come here and, you know, you don't find a normal road, yeah, you have an alternative, you know, routes to use. And even someone who is also trying to, you know, build um, just behind me over here did that so I'll, I'll show you a drone footage of that where he created a road around some um, orange trees which is just behind me over there so that in case you want to get something um, that is you're coming then they've started something on their um, land you, can, you have an alternative route to do now when I was coming this morning the usual routes that I use which is like the only route from that side to this particular place um, as of the last time I saw that it was being cleared and I could tell that someone was ready to you know build or like have something done on their project which is fine uh, I just got the drove got there this morning only to find out that the road had been blocked and a fence wall is being created and I was like why I was, I was surprised because they brought a wheel loader to clear the land and they knew very well that they were going to create a fence wall and it's going to block the road so i was just wondering why didn't they just make the wheel loader recreate the road like redirect it so that you know we are still able to use this you know temporary roads until i guess the time where proper roads are constructed i was just wondering is it out of bitterness is it out of frustration is it an oversight like i was just wondering and i i felt bad that uh, why why wasn't that done and now all those who try to you know come to their allocated plot can't use that side anymore and will have to go drive like about so many kilometers to go like round until you're able to get to this section which is not too cool and this morning i had made arrangements for a tra uh, truck to deliver gravels so we can use that for the film because the foundation has been completed and i'm being told that because that section has been um, closed i have to pay extra because the truck will have to go all the way around before it gets here and i feel as an upcoming community like the Asebu pan-african village we can do better in terms of situations like this because um, i don't think people would deliberately will want to create roads on people's lands it's just out of a situation that brings it or that brought that about so then if it's time for you to do your whatever you want to build i think the best thing to do is just you know recreate the road just a small narrow road it's it's not going to cost you any extra because when the wheel loader came here and he was doing ours he didn't take any extra for that and he created so even when i come that is why i have to drive through so i'm able to park my car over here so well this video is just uh, to you know uh, make people aware of situations like this so that in case you have like plots of land over here and there's uh, a temporary road on it and you are ready to do something on your road um, on your land I think 
yeah, we'll try please try as much as possible to just reroute or try to create a, another temporary route so that we are able to all use it until it gets to the point where the place fully gets developed and proper routes are made for this place so that's just going to be about this video so i'll share the um, drone footage of the place um, where like the main road where we've been using to get to this point blocked and i'll share with you alternative routes which has been created over here by other people who also had road created on their land and now they're ready to do something so that'll be just about it for this video uh, i'll be glad if we all try as much as possible to do better in situations like this so that we don't create any you know um perceptions and and so on so we are able to live harmoniously you know in this beautiful place so thank you very much for watching in case you are new to this channel as usual kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so anytime i have a new video you get to see it so i'll see you in the next one